Hey guys, Ivan here, and in today's video we got a couple of very, very interesting bodybuilding updates and we are starting with a physique update of Nexilla 4 or 5 days out of Dubai Pro and right now, Rubial Mosquera is weighing 303.5 pounds which is a lot he'll step on that stage at 300 pounds he is gonna be one of the biggest bodybuilders that ever stepped on a bodybuilding stage along with guys like big Remy and ronnie coleman and the main thing i'm looking at right now in this update is the conditioning and also his front double bicep which is arguably his worst pose so as far as conditioning I mean, this is the magic mirror, and this video has a filter on it. But still, I would say his conditioning is fine. You know, for five days out, maybe I would expect to see a little bit more crispiness, right? Like, I would see, I would like to see more striations, more separation. But with this much size, you can't expect this guy to be in Behrouz Tabani conditioning. Let's be real here. And as far as the front double bicep, like, are there any significant improvements? I think he's posing is a little bit better, which is, I'm sure, a product of him working with uh, Chris Cormier, but is it still like a great front double bicep? I wouldn't say so, I think Bekros Tabani, for example, or Nathan Diasha are gonna look much better in this pose, at least shape-wise, structure-wise, but as far as the size, I'm sure Nexila is gonna dwarf all these guys, especially with his lower body, but probably with the upper body as well. Now, in his training videos, as you can see right here, I mean, the conditioning does look improved. I mean, he definitely worked on it throughout this prep. It was getting better and better slowly, and I don't think he ever looked this lean in the gym. But I don't think his conditioning is going to be much improved from the Prague Pro last year. It's probably going to be the same conditioning uh, at best, which is good enough, if you ask me, which is fine. For a guy of that size, of that density, of that thickness of the muscle, you can't expect some crazy depth of the separation, you can't expect some crazy sort of dryness and super crazy amount of details, I mean, if he had that, like, he would win the Mr. Olympia right now, even though he doesn't have the best shape with that much muscle and, like, insane level of conditioning, it'll probably be good enough, but I don't expect him to be as conditioned as William Bonac or as Bekrus Tabani. I am expecting him to be decently conditioned. Conditioned enough, the way he was, again, at Prague Pro, which I think was very good conditioning. There were lines throughout his legs uh, in the side poses, also the glutes were separated enough, in my opinion. Uh, everything was just from the back, from the front, from all the sides, he was just lean enough, and I think he's bringing similar conditioning this year. And again, that's the best case scenario. Based on what I'm seeing, I think he's either gonna be the same conditioning-wise like last year, or a little bit worse. I don't think it's gonna be better, but I'm basing that on one little clip right here and those training videos, so I can very well be wrong. What I do see is that he did improve the way he's posing now, like he's lifting his elbows a little bit higher, which is kind of creating a better bicep peak, and also he's tilting his torso a little bit, and he's doing something different with his legs, which may make him look more aesthetic, I would even say more professional, because the way he was hitting this front double bicep last year was, you know, like a boxer, like everything was just straight up and down, and arms to the side, and just flex the biceps, now he's doing a little bit of something, and it could look better on stage, but again, he's showing us his weakest pose, this guy will never look great in the front double. We all know that his arms are absolutely ridiculously massive, but when he lifts them up, I don't know, something happens. Like, there is no tricep sweep, there is no bicep peak. Like, they're weirdly shaped, especially from this angle. And also, like, his shoulders are not exactly the widest, the biggest, so he has trouble forming a good V taper when he's the front double bicep, but that's one pose. What other poses of Nexilla are weak? I would say none of them. Maybe front lat spread, you could make an argument that it's not the best one, but it's okay. It's pretty good. I would say his only weak pose is front double bicep, and it does look improved a little bit here. 
And we all know that he added muscle to his upper body, so we're gonna see a better proportion lower body to upper body ratio. I think that's gonna be improved this year. And again, conditioning looks decent, uh, posing looks a little bit better, size is there, over 300 pounds at four or five days out, which is ridiculous. I can't wait to see this guy on stage. He's lucky that Andrew Jack is not doing this show, so he has a really good chance of winning this show, but we have to see him against the other guys. Last year, he did defeat Nathan Diasha. Nathan Diasha did defeat William Bonek. William Bonek did defeat Bakru Stabani, so <laughs> he can win the show on Exila very easily, and he is my favorite to win the Dubai Pro, but whatever you guys think, tell me down below. Let's say he wins the Dubai Pro, and he qualifies for the Mr. Olympia. Last year, he stood next to Samson Dauda, and he wasn't losing too much ground. He was even challenging Samson Dauda in a couple of poses. But we got a new physique update from Samson at 12 weeks out of Mr. Olympia, and I gotta tell you, his conditioning is improving rapidly. I think his back is now looking much leaner than it did a couple of weeks ago. So if his conditioning is this good at 12 weeks out, is this actually gonna be the year when we finally see Samson nail that conditioning, it could be. There is all the potential right there. He started this prep on time and he got in shape, in good shape, pretty good shape early. Or should I say he stayed in a really good shape uh, this entire year. He didn't let go too much after the Auto Classic, but the improvements that he made in conditioning in the last couple of weeks are noticeable. This back is already looking, I would say, close to what it was looking last year on the Mr. Olympia stage. I mean, of course, it's not quite there yet, but it's close to that kind of conditioning. Now, there is also a big possibility that he will just get a little bit leaner and just coast with that kind of conditioning until the show and not improve at all. There is also that possibility, but I, I'm optimistic. I believe it's not going to be like that. Now, as far as his back... A couple of years ago, you could have said that maybe he's going to lose the show, even if he's conditioned because of his back, because Derek Lansford or Heidi Chopin have better, bigger back, but at this point, that's no longer an issue of Samson's. I mean, it's it's probably not his strongest pose, back double bicep or back lat spread. I mean, of course, Derek is going to beat him in those poses, but he's not going to destroy him. Look at Samson right here. Like, Look at the size of the traps, of the lats as well. Sure, they are a little bit high inserted, but like there is still a lot of muscle there. Erectors as well, terrace, uh, shoulders from behind, rear delts, I mean, everything. Uh, upper back, like the traps could be thicker, the lats could be lower inserted and wider, but it's still, it's a very good back at this point. So that's a non-issue, and I think there is an improvement from Mono Classic until now. A slight one, but still a little bit noticeable. And again, there are 12 weeks left until the Mr. Olympia, so he can get in condition and also he can pack on some new tissue as well. He can get harder, rounder, bigger, but hopefully, mainly, he's gonna get shredded, like seriously shredded. Which is not that much more work from like Arnold Classic, maybe 20% better than Arnold UK, let's say. 20% better than that would be just conditioned enough. And then, with his shape, with his structure, with his size and height and completeness and everything, I think it can very well be enough for him to win the Mr. Olympia. So, he is my favorite this year. He was last year as well, and he didn't deliver, not quite. He was third, which was also amazing, but I think this year is Samson's year. I think there are a couple of things he wants to prove this year. I mean, he lost the Arnold Classic title to Hadi. He received a lot of criticism last year after losing to Hadi. So I feel like this year he wants to prove that he can be that guy, and I think he can. All right, and finally, we got a physique update from Hunter Labrada at 42 days out at 271 pounds uh, faster in the morning. Now, Hunter... He's not posting a lot of, like, you know, crazy angle, good lighting, uh, photos and videos. His physique updates are extremely transparent. Uh, maybe he's just filming this for his coach and he's just posting uh, the updates on, on, on IG. That's how it, it looks. It's not the most entertaining way, but you can see everything. And he's also sharing with us what he's doing. So he says that he finally dropped down food and up the cardio, 
which he didn't change for the first like five weeks or so of his prep, but now he did it and the conditioning changes I think are noticeable. You can see all of his meal, what he's eating. It's still a lot of food, but you know, if the conditioning is getting better, why change anything? This is the approach I like as a coach as well. If it is possible, keep the food as high as possible and manipulate other things like timing of the macros, cardio, training, uh, supplementation, stuff like that. And yeah, by the way, guys, if you're looking for a coach, you can hire me. Just DM me on Instagram. You can see my work, my clients over there. We can talk about this and agree on, on a price and everything. So you guys DM me on Instagram if you want to work with me. But right now, let's focus on Hunter Labrada. Let's replay this video once again. So conditioning for 42 days out looks great. Looks awesome, if you ask me. The size is there. Also, he made some improvements in the offseason. I think they're going to show on stage. Look at the glutes here, the hamstrings, the lower back. It's coming along. It's coming along and there's a long, long time before the show. So he can definitely keep the food high and stay full, stay big. The biceps are actually looking really good. Like the arms are huge. Uh, the size of this guy is just, you know, you, ca you can't realize how big he is until you actually see him on stage against the other guys, and he is massive, 270, this conditioning is huge, guys. Anyways, you tell me what do you think down below in the comment section, if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, for more content like this about bodybuilding, guys, please subscribe to the channel, thank you so much for watching, see you soon, all the best, and bye-bye.